December is here and we're ending the year with another month of updates and improvements that we hope will really help you uh, produce better webinars and better events as we head towards the next year. Let's take a look. First up, we are proud to release the largest change to our uh, overall UI since Zoom events launched. We've released an entirely new simplified event creation workflow. We've rebuilt the entire workflow with one goal in mind, which is to eliminate the, the guesswork for you, our event hosts. This includes a new streamlined sidebar with more intuitive navigation and an easier to understand feature toggle paradigm that allows event hosts to take advantage of the features that they need when they need them. No more guessing. We invite you to step in and create a new event and explore this new interface today. As of this release, it's only for single session events, but we will expand to the other event types in the coming releases. Next up, we have provided increased visibility and clarity around licensing for users with multiple licenses and multiple capacities. The messaging found in the scheduling process will give hosts confidence knowing the license, capacity, and features that are available to them. Analytics continues to grow and improve so quickly, and this month we are so proud to release two entirely new features designed to help event hosts understand their event performance and identify attendee trends. First, we have released cross-event analytics. This entirely new analytics panel allows hosts to understand event performance across their entire hub. New trend charts and views allow hosts to compare events to understand what works and what might need some improvement. And now, attendee profiles. This is an entirely new centralized profile for each unique email address across your event hub. This profile captures all engagement information into one place to provide event hosts the opportunity to understand your audience, identify your most engaged users, and spot trends. Everything here is built on the foundation of individual session engagement, uh, attendance, uh, chat, and Q&A participation polls, anything that was available in the individual session itself, and it cascades up from there. With this and cross-event analytics, event professionals now have incredibly powerful tools to understand how their events are connecting with people. Two more quick updates for analytics. This month, we have also introduced a new reports center at the event level. This tab provides direct downloads of the most helpful and relevant reports, along with our custom report builders when hosts need to find exactly the right thing that they are looking for. Also, one thing to note, when you are downloading these reports, all of these reports now exclude special roles, which further provides clarity and uh, efficiency for event hosts. And finally, for December, for recurring session events, we have now included a lovely session snapshot. This allows you to drill down into individual session performance uh, quickly and easily. We've even included some trend charts that show attendance and engagement over the duration of the session. And this will really just arm you with good information to help you know how you are connecting with your attendees. With all of the analytics changes over the past few releases, we hope that you find yourself learning and gaining even more insight than ever before about your analytics, about your attendees. And our goal is to equip you with the insight you need to build impactful and meaningful event programs that serve your audience and your business needs. As always, for a full comprehensive list of uh, features and updates, be sure to go to support.zoom.com. Thank you for choosing Zoom webinars and events. We'll see you in 2026.